Hey guys, what's up? It's Dane down at Zim's Guitars, and Nathan came in this morning. He bought an old vintage amp, and he wants to tell us about it. So this thing is a uh, 1956 Gibson GA6 amplifier, so it's from the same era as the Fender Tweed amps. And um, this one has the cool, like... Um, the whitish uh, Tolex on it. I'm not sure exactly what pattern you'd call it, but um, it's kind of, kind of like um, I don't know, like an alligator type thing. Um, but anyways, later um, the next year in '57 or '58, I think it is, they switched to just an all brown Tolex. So it looks kind of like a brown leather, but it's still Tolex. And uh, so this one has the cool, the cool Tolex on it. Um, whenever I got this, I actually had a choice between this one and two 58s. And I like this one the best, not only because of how it looks, but it sounded the best to me. And then you have your um, grill cloth on here that actually looks almost exactly the same as the grill cloth Fender was putting on the narrow panel tweeds. Now, and, Fender uh, had a uh, TV front. What would you describe that one? So, this one looks like a wide panel where it's narrow on the sides but wide on the top and bottom. So I actually have a wide panel um, Tweed Deluxe at home also that we've done a video on so you can go back and check that out. It is from 1954 and um, this, th this amp is just about the same size as that. Um, it is louder. They're, they're both rated around 12 watts but for some reason this amp is way louder to me. It might be the speaker in it. It might be how it's biased. Um, this amp has um, it uses two 6V6 power tubes. So this amp, it uh, has a tube rectifier and two 6V6 power tubes, um, just like a Tweed Deluxe. And it has one 12AX7 preamp tube and one, uh, I believe this is a 6SL7, um, which is kind of weird because normally you'd see in an amp they'd have either 12AX7s or the 6SL7s, but this one's got a mix of both of them. And as you can see, we have the original Jensen P12R speaker. Wow, look at that thing. With the bell cover on there. Bell that's, cover. That's nice. what I like to see right there. Um, you know, these you could take these bell covers off, and it's just the magnet in the back, like you'd see in a regular Al Alnico speaker. Huh. So this one's got the bell cover. Really cool to see there. Um, the speaker is dated the 31st week of 1956. So we're looking at the control panel on the top of the amp. And as you can see, it's very similar to a Tweed Deluxe. I know I keep saying that, but you have your pilot light on and off switch, no standby on these, your fuse holder, and then you're going to have your tone control, instrument control, microphone control, and then you have your two instrument inputs and two microphone inputs. Wow. So just like a Tweed Deluxe, tone and volume, that's all you're getting. But it's all you really need also. They used to, back in the day, they'd plug their guitars in and they'd sing through them all at the same time. Yep. And this has the interactive volume controls, just like a Tweed Deluxe, where if you have, let's say you're plugging in through the instrument channel and there's nothing plugged into the microphone channel. If you have your volume up and the volume all the way down for the microphone channel, you're going to get the most gain out of the amp. If you turn your microphone volume up, it actually drains some of the power from the instrument channel and it quiets your amp down. It, it doesn't break up as fast, it kind of cleans it up. So it's kind of weird, they're really interactive. So if you're playing like this and you turn the volume all the way up here, it's going to really clean the amp up. We'll go through that. It's Ooh. really weird how it does it. If you've ever played a Fender Tweed Deluxe, you know how it is. But um, it's really cool. It lets you get a lot of um, versatility out of the amp, you know. You can get tons of tones. This thing breaks up super crazy. It has hardly any clean headroom, especially if you're playing with the humbucker. I've only played a single coil through it yet. So maybe we'll try out the humbucker today. But uh, you got your original leather handle on there, nice and thick. The repros that you see are... Uh, pretty thin and flimsy handles unless you can find a good repro and uh, overall you know you got some little nicks here and there in the Tolex but it's in really nice shape and man I just love the way that this Tolex looks the pattern on it is pretty crazy so um, 
Well, know. let's plug it in, right? Yeah. Let's hear it. One last thing. Okay. This has all the yellow Astron caps that were in the late Tweed Fender amps as well. So if you pop the back panel off, all yellow Astron's in there. All right, so um, I'm plugged into the instrument channel. I have the volume at about nine o'clock. There's no numbers on these, nine o'clock. So it's about a quarter of the way up. I got my tone at two o'clock and the microphone volume is all the way down. up a little bit so I'm going to turn it up to about noon on the instrument channel Touching the instrument volume at all, I'm going to turn the microphone volume all the way up and you'll see how different it sounds. It's not breaking up as much. So now I have my volume at about 3 o'clock. Gibson GA6 and uh, from 1956. Thanks for checking it out.